Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Islam, uh, another main event for you. I'm, I'm curious, do you, do you like the main event where you get the extra attention and the extra responsibilities, or do you kind of like not having to do the extra interviews? Honestly, you know, I just finished five interviews, and last one I finished in my car. But it's okay, part of the game, but too much sometimes. Are you getting used to it, though? I mean, like no nerves, or is it just, like no. you said, part of the job? Yeah, this is part of the game, I know. That's why it's, I feel good. I fight catch weight. That's why this, that time, not, not so problem. This time. Uh, of course, a change in opponent here is the big story. Um, how much discussion was there from your team about should we take this fight or should we delay it and wait for something else? Honestly, when uh, Benil is injured, I told Ali, find someone from top 10. And he said, he told me next day, like, nobody give you, nobody give me answer. And I think it's not going to be happening. But when, uh, and Ali say, just Bobby Green give answer. He say, he ready for, I say, let's go. Doesn't matter who, because last three months, so hard for me, I prepare for Benil. Training so hard, just give me someone. How much change goes into your game plan or your tactics? Does it change at all based on the opponent? No, I have always same plan. Take down, make them tyrant, and finish him there. Same same plan I have with Bobby too. Um, Bobby Green as a fighter, what do you think of his skills? Uh, what do you think of him as an opponent? Uh, this guy, you know, he have big heart because he took this fight before one week and he have good, good boxing, good boxing style and about wrestling and grappling. We will check. <laughs> uh, are you expecting him to, to talk trash to you or, or, you know, to try to make it emotional in the cage? Uh, we're going to, we're going to talk inside the cage. I'm going to take him down and tell them, Hey, let's go get up. So you'll be the one talking. Yeah, I'm going to talk. He's going to talk with me when he when we beginning striking. But when we when I'm going to take him down, I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. <laughs> nice. uh, a win here. Are you expecting a title shot? Do you feel that this will be enough to get you a title shot? Of course, because it's going to be my 10th fight win streak. I really believe this is key for the title fight. And I, I think is Oliveira going to beat uh, Justin Gage and 11 win streak versus 10 win streak. This is going to be a big fight for all MMA fans. Do you think that uh, Charles Oliveira is the most difficult matchup for you, the most dangerous opponent for your style? Um, it's going to be a good fight because we almost have the same style. You know, he have good grappling skills, he have good striking. And it's going to be a good fight, you know. Uh, I don't think it's going to be hard for me. I just, I can take him out, take him down easy because I know he don't have good wrestling, wrestling skills. But his grappling skills, high level. And we, wanna, we will see who is better there. Nice. Last thing for me, I guess. Do you feel like in this fight you have to make a statement, you know, whether it be a finish or just something impressive to show the world that, yes, you deserve yes, that title? I have to finish Bobby Green first round, and I will do it. I'm curious. Do you know if other fighters were offered to step in to face you this weekend? No time. Do you know if there were other fighters who were offered to fight you this weekend? Uh, or was it just Bobby? They, they, they ask... Uh, RDA, Tony, and Gillespie, they all say no. I, I already told me this, but I don't want to say they're scared or something like that because this is just one week before the fight, but I have always the same problem for find someone. When someone like Bobby does step in this close to the fight, do you automatically have a new level of respect for them? Yeah, I have to respect him because he's make this happen and he wanna make some money. I just, I just wanna help him a little bit. It's very generous of you. Uh, you said you picked Oliveira to beat Gaethje. I'm curious, what exactly do you see 
that makes him win that fight. Can you repeat? Why do you think Charles Oliveira beats Justin Gaethje? Uh, I think he's gonna finish him. I think he's gonna striking with him like first round, and after he's gonna take him down. <clears throat> I think he's gonna choke him. Thank you. Just one. Mo most people see your fight style as being very dominant. The fact that you don't have to cut that extra five pounds. Are we going to see an even more dominant version of you out there? Uh, I don't know. I follow same program, same diet program. But last days I cut like five pound, four pound. It's I think that just last days is going to be easy for me. We'll see. I never fight in cage weight, but. I think I enjoy, you know, because I don't have to make 156. But next fight, I'm ready to make 150 fight, you know. So since this is a little different and this is a catch weight, is this week feel a little bit more exciting because it's a little bit different? You have a yeah, this short is notice. Like when you cut 156, like, you know, more pressure, you cannot enjoy. But now I feel much better. Awesome. Best of luck. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys.